want to make a video on how to sketch this part to be machined on a lathe. I have this weird tendency, and I don't know if anybody else has it, but I tend to start building up the bodies like this. I don't know why I do it like this. Um, it does work, but you'll start running into issues when you're doing it this way, when you have to make modifications, just like almost everything we ever make, something's wrong. Um, and it makes the job harder. So don't do it this, don't do it like this. I'll show you way, the way that we do it at our shop and it works really good and we get the jobs done really fast. Um, so in Fusion, start a new component. It's called fitting. Let's do a new sketch. Make sure you set to home so you know what plane you want. I'm gonna do it off of this plane. And then you want to build half of the part first, always, because you always want to use a revolve tool. And then when you make a modification, it automatically updates the whole body. Um, so let's just sketch out what we want. No dimensions, just a sketch. So we got our body. Got this piece here. These are, this is going to be our threads. Try to line those up if you can. That drives me crazy, that check mark. Oh, I hate it so much. Um, and then here's a little piece here. It angles down right here. And it straightens out right here. And then Fusion has been super buggy lately on the auto guides. So sometimes you have to kind of do that to make it work. And it really doesn't even work that good all the time. Make sure everything's blue. There's no mistakes or anything in there. Um, now let's start dimensioning this out. So we know we want this to be, so it's going to be 0.75 divided by 2. Gives us our dimension. This is uh, 0.6, and I'm also going to mirror this. and um, So I'm going to do half of 0.6. So we got 0.3. Um, what is this dimension here? This dimension is 0.13. This is our 916th thread. This is 0.25. And don't put chamfers in yet or anything like that. Do it after because chamfers, sometimes you change threads or the chamfer's wrong and it's easier to modify chamfers with, with on the body with the chamfering tool. Okay, and then this dimension is 0.9. Oops, sorry. 0.09. Let's fix you real quick. See, this happens sometimes with Fusion. It's so freaking annoying. Just gotta fix this. Pull it back up. And then this dimension here. What is that? 0.325 divided by 2. And then let's see the overall dimension of the part. Cancel that what I do. Let's do our overall dimension is 1.68 divided by 2. Now let's start putting in some heights. Okay, this is... 0.475 divided by 2. This is the same. So click on dimension, click there, D12. Now those, those are linked together. Um, and then we have a, uh, a basically like a drain hole through the center of this. So just set a line to go right across. Make sure it's straight. So the other thing with Fusion, I don't know why it is not, it's not select, it, like it's changing the degrees sometimes of, uh, of your lines and it is so freaking annoying. I got to fix that. Or maybe it's me. I don't know, but it ain't working. Um, so the hole is 0.295 divided by 2. Um, then it looks like we forgot to do one up here. So this is going to be the major diameter for your threads. Um, 
this one's 0 0.5 or 0 0.5625 divided by 2. And basically we're done. Finish sketch. Just revolve it. Oh, always try to make sure that you've got this lock symbol on there. That means that you sketched it correctly. Every, all everything's everything's good. Um, you're not going to make any mistakes. You know, sometimes you can grab a line and move it and mess it up, mess up your whole your whole job. Anyways, revolve. Pick your axis. Okay, so now we've got half of this. Now let's add our uh, chamfers and fillets. So every thread is going to have its own chamfer size. Uh, this is a 9 16 18. Um, so we're going to chamfer at 0.035. Let's add it here and here because this is just a free thread on its own in the middle of nowhere kind of thing. So we'll add that in. And then we're going to add some fillets. I just want to add it right here, 0.03. Let's add another one right here. Let's go 0.05. Keep that nice and smooth. Hit OK when you're done. Now this enables us to change the chamfer size very quickly anytime we double click the, the chamfer tool or fillet tool. And now let's mirror the body. Create, mirror, select the body. Uh, select the plane, make sure the operator set to join, and hit OK. So now when we change our chamfer, let's just, let's go less. Let's do like 0 0.01 so you can really see the difference. Now change it on both ends. Now you're basically done. Um, but let's just say you need to change the major OD for your thread. It's really easy. You can just come in here. Who's ever run your lathe? Um, they can get in there and let's say we want to change the major to like a 0.6 and um, just for whatever reason. Divide that by two. Increases the size. Now your the major the major ID or the major OD for the threads is done on both sides, and it's really simple at that point. But let's undo that. Finish sketch. And what I like to do in our shop is I just um, duplicate this body, and then let's rename this body Lathe Blank Body. And then let's call this stylized body because sometimes you really do want to you really do want to make the part complete because you're going to end up having to you're going to end up having to put it on drawings and stuff and um you want to make you want to make um the the everybody that works there's job in the shop a lot easier and by having a really good drawing that that helps out a lot um, so turn, make sure that the lathe blank body is off. And then with the stylized body, this is where you can add like, this is where you can add like threads, you know, like add a modeled thread and it's a 9 16 18. Let's do another one here. Model it, change the designation to 9 16 18. Looks pretty good. Let's just say, you know, you're going to have, um, let's say you're going to plate them black. So just, I don't know, let's do like a chrome black. See what that looks like. That looks horrible. Let's try just a normal glossy. That looks pretty bad too. But, you know, get in here, see, mess around, see if you can kind of make it pop a little bit more. Okay, that all looks terrible. So let's try another one. You know what's really popular? Red. Whenever you're dealing with fittings. Oops, hit the wrong button. Dang, did it again. And red shows up really good in Fusion. As long as you pick the right one, I'm picking acrylic for some reason. Move a little. 
anodized. That looks good. And you're done.